What we're going to look at here is how multiplication and addition are related. Let's start with this multiplication problem at the top. 4 times 1 third. Now what this means is 4 groups of 1 third. So when I represent that together, 4 groups of 1 third, I would have a shape broken into thirds. I'll just break another one into thirds as well. And I would have four groups of one-third each. So here's my first group of one-third. You can see it takes up one-third. There's one group. My second group of one-third, my third group of one-third, and my fourth group of one-third. So when I have all of that, what I end up with is a total of four-thirds. There are four pieces shaded. Each shape is broken into three equal pieces, making it four-thirds. And what we know about multiplication is four times one-third is the same thing as saying four times one and keeping your denominator, which is equal to four-thirds. Now something interesting to note, how does this relate to addition? Well, really what I have here is I have four groups of one-third, and if I add them all together, one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus the fourth group of one-third, what this means is, remember when we're adding fractions with the same denominator? The denominator remains the same, and we only add the numerators. So one plus one plus one plus one is equal to four-thirds. So what does this mean? This means that addition is the same thing as multiplication, just it is repeating. So instead of doing 4 times 1 third, that's the same thing as saying, let's add 1 third together 4 times. It's very important to know this when you're working through um, Whatever the problem is, whether it's fractions or it's no other numbers, it's very important to know that multiplication is the same thing as repeated addition. So instead of multiplying by 4, you're just going to add the same number 4 times.